Here I'm logged in to Stanmore's VLE as a tutor, so you will see everything of the tutor's tutees that they can see. Um, first of all, I'm going to go to a map of our PLE, so you can see how it fits together. Before I go down to the map, um, in the top right hand corner, um, the student has on every page of our Moodle VLE. Um, direct links to principal pages of this um, PLE. Okay, so here's our conceptual map. Um, the college has a central reporting system which reports back to students in October, January and April and um, it works against the target grade there and then these PLE pages work in conjunction with this so we've got plans, my progress, notes, career plans and these um, four pages below are more general. Right, what I'm going to do is going to take you to, to a specific student and then show you the site profile. So if I go um, here, okay so here the student, a temp student um, and you can see their overall status and here are the reports. These first two reports, the teacher and tutor, are going to be archived and then the new reports which link to the principal PAR pages are career plans, plans, notes and my progress. Anyway, first of all I'm going to take you to the uh, site profile for this student. Here. Okay, um, normally in Moodle you'll get an image of the student and um, lots of text fields. Um, you'll note all the comma separated courses here. So, that, so what I'll do is I'll take you to um, the uh, home page of our PLE which is normally um, just the course profile but which we've done some work to develop. So that's here. Um, so at the moment we're got some information about this student's um, tutorial home, how many times they've logged in. They last logged in on Thursday 15th of August um, and then you'll see that that comma separated list of courses has become a nice list which also shows the overall grade um, for that course. Um, so if I go to economics there it will also show um, the last time that student um, accessed this course 15th of August and I'm just going to show you quickly the grades so say the tutor wanted to see a breakdown of their performance in this internet safety course they could click there and then you get the breakdown the different grades, the different parts of that internet safety course. If they were wanted to see what other students got, they go to the grader report, which gives a breakdown of all other grades that the students have got. Now I'm going to go back to that home page because you've seen that now. Okay. Right. So. Um, is the image. This is the overall status of the student which relates to the central reporting system and um, the these other PLE pages here. Um, I'll come back to those. So up here these email addresses are stored in Moodle by default and this is the link to be able to message the student through the Moodle messaging system. Um, these links below timetable, an update mobile, my bursary, internet profile are all specific to our college and linked to um, apps which link to back to our MIS systems. Okay, just going to, and obviously you can see we've got a breakdown of our attendance here, which you can click and gives you a pop-up window. Um, but now what I want to do is to show you some of the reports. So let's look at plans. Um, here we go. So this is 
really for next year so these are the results for last year um, and then on the back of these if necessary teachers will be able to write um, plans, action plans, um, development plans to help support the student or if they're at risk of they can write more serious um, warnings there okay so that's plans um, now I will look briefly at notes on the notes pa page we also have what we call e-points which offer positive behavior and uh, work so that's that and then the staff will be able to add new reminders and notes of a general type there now I will look at um, I'll go to ePace I think of um, ePace as a kind of an, a beginnings of a kind of an analytics page there's the um, learner assessment record results there but here are the results for this student's um, performance in the 40 minute online ePace assessment it shows the different um, where their strengths and weaknesses lie so um, if that student wanted to um, develop some knowledge about hand-eye coordination and find some resources then they could um, do so here so that's um, yeah, there's some videos and things there okay so that's the e-pace um, now I want to look at is uh, career plans okay so at the top here we have um, links to resources that the college subscribes to and also some general national resources so if they wanted to set up an account here they would click there and um, they could set up a careerscape account and make use of that resource um, then below um, we have uh, subject teacher reference statements for various AS subjects which could be used for writing the UCA statement later um, this is a very simple report which both students and staff can uh, create um, and it's just got an entry box and a drop down menu of uh, prompts and areas uh, there so that's quite straightforward um, I suppose finally I will just show you briefly the my Moodle page will actually take you to um, my personal Moodle page will take the student to theirs which is obviously a really good page which I wanted to include and make um, prominent in this PLE so there's my list of all my courses there and that's, I'm going to bring it to a close there